WTVO. Expect more. Well, we are going to see some temp warmer temperatures for tonight and as we're heading into tomorrow. But we do have very windy conditions and we could see another little bit of wintry mix uh, that's winter just won't let go. It keeps trying to hang on, but we did see uh, temperatures slightly warmer today, but windy as well. So again, uh, please do not burn anything outdoors. That's what they're recommending. Uh, the relative humidity levels are a little bit lower, and that's going to continue as we're heading into tomorrow with the strong winds. Partly cloudy skies as we're heading into the evening and overnight. As far as the temperatures, actually it keeps warming up about a degree or so. Right now, 44 degrees in Kirksville. Winds are out of the south-southeast at 13 miles per hour. A time of 40 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Winds are out of the south at 17 miles per hour. Again, uh, the clouds will start to increase for tomorrow, and that's because we do have that little system working its way in. Uh, late tomorrow evening into the overnight, some light showers possibly mixing with a little bit of a rain-snow mix as temperatures continue to fall. Very little, if any, snow accumulation is possible, maybe up to a half inch, but really other than that, uh, it's not going to be very much. And actually, if we do get anything, it's not going to stick around because temperatures are going to be warming up once again as we're heading into midweek. As far as those temperatures, future cast, this is around 7 in the morning on your way to work and school into the lower 30s, around 32 degrees, and then already at noontime into the upper 40s. And we're going to see temperatures into the mid 50s for tomorrow. So again, we are going to need uh, that light jacket as we're heading throughout the day. But again, the strong winds are, that's going to be the main thing. So for tonight, 33 degrees as your overnight low with partly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the south, gusting up to 22 miles per hour. We do have an another American Red Cross blood drive. This one is going on at the Adair County R1 High School in Novinger from 1 to 6. Temperatures are about 52 degrees and then topping out uh, around 56 with partly sunny skies. I think for the most part we will remain dry throughout the day and that's when we're heading into the evening hours and overnight that we're going to get that precipitation. Southeast winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. If you've ever wanted to know more about tornadoes, thunderstorms, how they form, what to look for to be a spotter, well, check this out. Monroe County uh, is going to be having one tomorrow night starting at 6 o'clock. This is going to be held at the Albia Fire Station. So again, check that out. Great information. 50 degrees as your high on Wednesday, and we're going to continue into the mid to upper 50s on Thursday and Friday, and slightly cooler on Saturday, 45 degrees. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. The good news is we're starting to warm up. We're mm. supposed to be about 50 degrees for this time of the year. Uh, again, about that or maybe a little bit above. Good. We're ready for that part of it. We're ready for spring to come. <laughs> yes, we are. Thanks, Teresa. You're welcome. Next in sports.